A unique feature of the Analyzer and Zone Master is the grayscale, which helps you determine the print exposure and contrast setting. This particular grayscale does not run from white to black, but from an off-white to an off-black, which Ansel Adams would call his texture range. And this would show on a, feel, a final print, you'd be able to see detail in all of these tones. Now, the way it works is very simple. When you take a meter reading, it lights up a light for that particular reading against the grayscale. And when you change the contrast and exposure settings, the light or lights, if you've taken multiple readings, move up and down this scale, telling you what those print tones will be. Let me show you. Let's turn the enlarger on and take a meter reading. Because I'm doing it in the darkroom, I've got the meter sitting under a towel, just to give me a nice dense reading, especially if I keep still. Okay, now that the meter reading has settled, it's given me an exposure time of 11 seconds and it's lit up the far end of the grayscale. And this is the default operation. It's, it, it is a highlight based system. So it takes the densest part of the negative, the number, the, the, the densest reading from the negative and assumes it's going to be a highlight. You don't have to take that. You can move it around and you can also change the contrast. Right. So the first thing is to realize that if I change the exposure, I can move that light up and down the scale as I increase and decrease the exposure time. If I change paper or grade, it alters the exposure requirement to keep that exposure setting constant. So the exposure times change, but the print tone does not. So this is the, the pitching point. This is where it pegs the exposure to. And anything else floats around depending on the paper characteristic. Let's take a second reading. This second reading has provided a much brighter part of the negative, which means a darker tone. So I now have two readings. And those two spots on the negative baseboard will come up as these two print tones. If I set the enlarger to grade two and I expose for 11 seconds, I can increase and decrease the overall exposure and the lights will move both up and down the scale. I can also increase and decrease the contrast, moving the lights further away or closer together, depending on the grade setting. And in this way, by using a combination of exposure and contrast, I can put these points on any part of the scale that I want to. So this might be um, a, a facial tone, and this may be uh, dark hair. It doesn't matter, but it, I can put it wherever I like. And this is the power of the grayscale. And I've been able to determine the contrast and the exposure without making a test strip. That's not to say that the analyzer can't do test strips. It has an intelligent test strip maker, but we use and reserve that typically for fine tuning only.